can turn the world on with a smile You can take a nothing day and suddenly make it all seem worthwhile But it's a girl and you should know it Each words and every little movement you show it Love is all around, no need to fake it You can never down, why don't you take it? You're gonna make it after all Hi everybody, welcome to the show. Today is Thursday, December 27th, and as of today, Mark has 558 days left to go in his U.S. prison sentence. And the countdown is always getting less and less, and Mark has a lot of milestones that he's looking forward to, including New Year's Eve, which will be the date of 555 days left to go. So he likes finding those triple numbers and that we keep getting to different milestones. And we're feeling good about it because maybe this time next year, he'll actually Actually be here and it might be the Mark and Jody and Marie show every Thursday so we're hoping for that and I'm gonna comment on that in a moment about Mark uh, possibly coming home but I wanted to share with you uh, two cards I just got now the first one is from Mark and it's a Christmas card it's an adorable snowman here and it's so cute it's kind of off the page and there's white splatter there for the snow and inside it says Merry Christmas uh, my beloved Jody, all my love on Christmas from your honor honored husband Mark. And that's really sweet to add to the collection. And the other card we got is from Mark's friend Terry, who's been teaching him how to play bass guitar. And it was a sweet card sent to me that just says, Jody, thank you for everything you have done to help me. You and Mark have been a blessing. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Best wishes, Terry G. And he's helped Mark a lot too, so I send the appreciation right back at him. And I showed pictures of Terry in my last show, so below this video you can find the video previous episode and uh, see who that is. That's Mark's good friend. So those were nice to get over Christmas or when I got home from Christmas. I was in my hometown Kamloops, BC for a couple days and that was awesome. Spent time with family and hopefully the last Christmas without Mark as I said before. Now Mark has a Christmas blog that I encourage you to check out at CannabisCulture.com and FreeMark.ca. It's a blog continuation on the previous one in response to Michael Korn of Sun Media and the comments about how cannabis people are persecuted greatly. And so that blog got a lot of response and so Mark wrote a Christmas blog following up with just some more uh, explaining about the sort of situation that we are in. And in that, you should check it out and get Mark's message about the Christmas feeling of joy and good cheer and how we should put that towards improving uh, all of our lot and everybody who's being victimized by this drug war. So check that out at CannabisCulture.com and FreeMark.ca where of course you can get my weekly videos as well. So this upcoming year is 2013 and that's really exciting for us because Mark is going to be able to say he's coming home this year or next. So we're looking forward to that and we're actually going to need your help. We have two different goals to try and get to. The first one is a possible transfer to the Canadian prison system. Mark applied for this two years ago. The United States federal government rejected him even though they didn't really have the grounds to do so. But they did. They said no and Mark had to wait two years. So in April, Mark sends in his paperwork and we're hoping that the U.S. federal government will say yes to his transfer application because he has done so much more time on the sentence. And once we get the U.S. federal government to approve it, then we need the Canadian federal government to approve it. And that's going to take some work too. Now, we still have a couple months until April and starting in January, I'm going to be beginning the campaign to get Mark home. And that means I need your help to get a lot of political support. First, we're going to begin with petitions. We're going to need people to sign petitions saying that they believe Mark Emery should be allowed to serve his sentence in his home country of Canada, the country he never even left when he did the activities of which he was sentenced for and all that jazz. So I'll fill out all the information for you guys. I'll make it really well explained. I just need you to get the signatures for support and hopefully we can get members of parliament in Canada to submit those petitions again like we've had before where it shows that Canadian people want Mark home and there's the political will to do so. But we also need to get political support just from politicians endorsing a letter that I will write, like I did last time, where they say that they agree Mark Emery deserves to be sent home. Now last time I got a lot of Canadian political support 
but I didn't get a whole lot of US support because I didn't really have the means or the connections and it was just a very difficult time two years ago but now we're a lot stronger and a lot more has been accomplished and I'm going to seek out your support in finding pot friendly US politicians. Now that could be anyone from a city council to a state representative to a congressman in the federal congress whomever you know that's been involved with marijuana policy reform or drug policy reform or even prison reform, anybody who cares about this sort of issue, uh, I hope that you, if you know anyone, can email me and let me know about who they are so I can send them a formal letter in the coming months asking for their support and endorsement of Mark's transfer. That way we hope we can get the U.S. federal government to approve it because we have U.S. political support and then we'll do the same for Canada. So we've got a process coming up for the next uh, half of the year and I hope you guys will support us in any way you can for Mark's transfer application and all the details will be posted at CannabisCulture.com and Freemark.ca as that gets closer. So last week I announced a special prize draw. It's about three weeks worth of entries that people have been sending and every week of course I give away the Freemark Emery t-shirt so that's going to be included in this prize pack and you always get as well the stickers and the Freemark button. And this special prize pack is going to include a Freemark Emery lighter leash so you can put your lighter in here and never lose it again. It's got a great handy little clip. It's unbreakable. It's pretty awesome handy stuff. And the stoner trivia game so you've got something to keep you busy while you're uh, bored with your bong or whatever you're smoking on. And we've got the Union DVD documentary, one of the greatest pop movies ever made. And of course it was made with the help of Mark and people we know here in Vancouver and covers the story very well about what happened uh, to Mark and the BC3. And we've got the pot puzzle fun book made by Cannabis Culture's original editor, Dana Larson, who is an incredible activist in his own right and pushing the Sensible BC campaign to decriminalize marijuana in British Columbia. So go to sensiblebc.ca. And then I also have a Mark Emery Santa Claus special cannabis culture cover. That's actually Mark dressed up as Santa and this will be thrown into your prize pack as well. So I've got lots of entries in the blue bubble bag. Every week I draw from the bubble bag, which is a handy way to turn your trash into a stash. You get your uh, plant matter and put it in here and you end up with something very valuable and uh, very much enjoyed by a lot of people all over the world. So you can get these bubble bags at cannabisculture.com store and everything else, of course, we have online and in store you can check out at our website. So the winner is going to be somebody from the very bottom here. Let's pull out Gay Avellino entering. Jody, really enjoying your show. Hope the hope to win the drawing because I particularly want to watch the union. I imagine is how the rest of that goes. So you've won. I'm I'm sorry I couldn't pronounce your name quite right, but I'll be sending you an email and you won the special prize pack. So thank you for tuning in and everyone out there. I appreciate you watching the show. I think this is almost. Is this the last one? This is the last show of 2012. How about that? The year has flown by and I know next year is going to be super busy too and I look forward to working with everyone out there in ending this drug war here at home and everywhere else around the world. We've got an exciting year ahead and I look forward to it. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys next year in 2013. Thanks a lot and free Mark Emery.